So I've been staring at this for about half an hour, and I think I finally figured out what was happening. So in here, I was intermittently getting, when I was homing the x-axis, which is this way, when I was homing the x-axis, it would go blast right past the sensor and bottom out here, and bottom out the, you could hear the servos um, struggling, which is not good for anything. So, like I said yet, yesterday, I ran a whole program, I parked it, I unplugged it, I went inside, everything was working fine, came out the next day, and I hit home, and it wasn't working. Um, and I don't know, I, well, I didn't know why, I do believe I know why now. So I'm going to put both of these out. So I have this working now, so this should show you what it works, what it looks like in normal operation. So if I hit home, home all, both axes should do that. You see it stops right here at the sensor and you can hear them kind of, because they, cause they know where they're at. So, so let's look at what that does electrically. Um, and it looks like you guys can see my voltmeter here. So I have this set on volts DC. I'm gonna put my red on 24 volt and my black on the black sensor wire for the Y axis sensor. So I put that there. You know, it's 4.3 volts. And if I test the X axis, I'm getting 6.88 volts. I don't know why they're different. Let's see if they change. So you see, I'm smashing the button there. I'm smashing the Y axis button and it won't go past that limit switch. And the X axis won't do it either. It's a soft, it's a soft stop. That's what that, what that limit switch is for. So what was happening was I was having an intermittent failure and this sensor was having issues and it would just go all the way past the this, this, this sensor stop and it would just crash into the end. So what I ended up figuring out what it was, in this box, so it looks like See how each one of these is labeled? Has these nice fancy labels on it? Well, for the Y axis, they don't. So I'm guessing that this guy got replaced at some time. And I'm actually, I'm fairly sure it is because I found the old one thrown down inside here. And they stuck this wire in here. They just shoved it in there. And, and it was intermittently losing contact. So, um, for the for the sake of science, I'm going to show you guys what it was doing when it was failing. So, if if this sensor doesn't get its 24 volts, um, it doesn't work. And I was watching another YouTube video, and the guy said that he found that uh, if a proximity sensor is not getting more than six volts then it just won't work um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to intentionally unplug this to show you guys what happens uh, when the proximity sensor is doing its doing this thing. So you see I'm getting I'm getting 14 volts right here. It's parked up against it. Uh -huh. Well see it's it's like the servos remembered remembered where it goes. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I hit home, 
and you can see the sensor, it blew right past the proximity sensor. So let's go back over it and see it's, it's not doing anything now. So if these guys aren't getting enough voltage, they just, they just don't work and they, uh, the sensor doesn't work and it can blow right past it. But you see that the x-axis, I didn't unplug it and it still soft stops. So if I plug this back in, And I got that nice and tight in there, even though it's just shoved in there. So you see I'm back to my six volts. So so the sensor is working. Oh there we go. So now this this is operational. So uh, I got my leads backwards. So you see six volts when the metal's not over it. And then when a metal piece of metal passes close by it, it hops up to the full 24 volts. So that way the computer knows when it gets close, it's gonna see that 24 volts. So now, the other thing I noticed is it takes one cycle for the computer to recognize that it got plugged back in and uh, the way that I noticed to do this, so you just run both axes in a little bit, and then you hit home, and I hope this works, home all. So you saw it hit the sensor and then did its little shutter where it, sens where it uh, centers. And now, now it's, everything's working again. So if I run stuff back out, home, home all, this guy's working again. So this whole issue, and why I wanted to make this video, this whole issue had to do with a single loose 24 volt positive wire on this sensor. This sensor wasn't getting enough voltage, so it wasn't telling the computer when the carriage got back to its home position. So uh, if you guys have any issues with your limit switches not working, you can test them here in this junction box because each one of these sensors only has three wires a positive 24 volt a ground and a signal and what you'll test is between the positive 24 volt and the black signal wire and there's two different so they have a common here I'll bring this over here so they have a common common 24 volt for both sensors. You can see this one's coming from the x-axis and from this side of the box. This one's coming in from the y-axis. They share 24 volt. These two guys share a ground, but when their, their sensor wire comes in, because th this is the, the signal wire, they're separated. So the uh, the x-axis comes in right here and the y-axis wire comes in right here so if you guys want to test yours like I was showing on the voltmeter you would go between the positive 24 volt and this one for the x-axis and the positive 24 volt and this guy for the y-axis All right, I hope that helps you guys. I, uh, other than generally knowing about electronics and mechanical things, I know nothing about these other than I bought one of these this week and I'm taking 
I'm taking you guys on my adventure with me. So if you guys have problems with your limit switches, hopefully this video helps out.